Alright guys, welcome to this tiebreaker match, European Division 1 versus Ar with Arkear and Gordia played on the map and on summer with me we have Red Dog casting. Hello guys, yes this is going to be such a great match, we are seeing Godar starting over in Datacore as they move to a 1-2-1, one, one, uh, I'm sorry, 1-2-2 one, two, two split. And on the other side of the map we got Arkea in flight control already assisting to Crevice and into Computer Lab. Oh, they're going with a double gorge opening as it seems, they have Koru in Computer Lab and we have Skugan. Um, actually, not even the commander uh, gorging up. This is really heavily defensive. They want those three RTs up and they want to hold it, definitely. Will not play aggressively as it seems, just to hold that and see to where it goes after they kill the pressure teams. Yeah, we're seeing Duty move down into sub access, kind of checking around um, over in Crossroads now. Tane is doing a little bit of parasiting, just sticking underneath, staying out of the way against Valk and Mendas. And over in Atrium, we got Fana just ch just chilling right underneath the floorboards. Oh, nice engagement see coming up in Crossroads. Actually, two skulls to the left. Taking a lot of med packs there, but Akira with low health just taking the win over that. And we see from Godor actually with this kind of passive opening. What you see usually from Godor is this heavily aggressive three man pressure. And it looks like they want to throw off Arkear to be prepared for that just by completely switching up their opening. Yeah, sitting on four RTs right now. Alcalde building the power up in Atrium. He did take out Fana just a little bit ago. Valk and Mendaps moving right back into Crossroads and redrop of that RT. Meanwhile, down in Computer Lab, we got Duty and Heracles sniping down the hallway into there. Karu and Fana and Skugan are responding to this as Duty and Heracles move out of there. They are going to get pinched on either side. Here comes Arkea. Heracles goes down, and Duty is not going to have enough to stand up against all those teeth, and that RT is toast. <laughs> oh yeah, no chance. There was there was a lot of Arcaea plays actually coming there. They used five inner players, now they're completely open. Crevice only chain is there, and he gets the kill. Really nice job coming from behind, picking off Arcade. So they actually could be able to defend this. Seeing a little bit of a skirmish here over in Crevice, getting taken out by um, Archaea Tane on very low health up against Valk. If Valk <laughs> could just breathe on him, he dies, and he does, and Skugan's coming out from nowhere, flying in there, trying to get Valk, and Valk does take him down. Nice shooting from Valk and staying alive in that engagement. Really good job. We see Carapace has been completed, and Duty and Heracles moving right back into sub-access to reestablish control there. And after winning that engagement, Walk has to fall back. He knows alone there's not much he can do. He needs a group up with Mendes, P and Crossroads. And it was really important for Tane to get those two kills actually up. Otherwise, there would be still two or three Marines and Crevice would have been lost by now. Um, and so they defended this one RT just by this double kill. And it's still cool. I mean, they're still sitting on three Harvesters. They did not lose a single one the whole game. And actually managed to bite two of those Extractors so far. Godar, you know, if we talk about resources, Godar is doing a really good job keeping up on their resources as well. They have only lost two RTs, one is being attacked in Atrium, but still four t uh, resources gathered, 150 to 84. Um, pretty good lead, not, not the best, but uh, doing pretty good here in Res. Yeah, Godar sitting on six RTs, but they're not put pressuring at all. I mean, I, I don't see any offense. Those players in, in Crossroads yep. are still camping there. So what should Akira do? Exactly what they're doing right now. They buy down Atrium, they go on ventilations, actually get the recap or duty down. And Godar needs to push at some point, otherwise they will just lose all the extractors. Yeah, I agree. I mean, they've just lost two in less than 10 seconds, the one over in Atrium and the one in ventilation. Um, and yeah, I, I agree with you. They're not doing any sort of push or I don't see any pressure teams out on the map. Um, in terms of engagements, um, pretty even with Godar um, ecking by a little bit more wins than uh, than Arkea. However, yeah, now with Fana on the field as a lurk, that may change the game a little bit. Shotguns have been completed and Armor 1 is almost done. I just saw Scrime get a drifter kill down there in sub Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. But, um, yeah, as you said, with the lurk now in the field, um, 
Akia can swing around now the state of the game. Goda was sitting on 6 RT, he's not pressuring too much, he didn't kill a single harvester so far, but the real, I think what's really helping a lot here for Godair is they have now shotguns in the field. Armor 1 is about to finish and we know from Godair they are so good with their shotguns. And even if Godair was under heavy pressure in many games earlier, as soon as they get shotguns, those players, they completely wreck your alien team so hard. And Pana's taking also a lot of damage Whoa. to that sneaky gun. Yeah, very close as he came around that corner and met Duty and Heracles with those shotguns and LMG. And now we're seeing a forward base um, armory being built in Crossroads as the Sis are coming down. Scram trying to get in there with the infestation. Oh, we see one Skulk working on the arm slab in base, so probably Chaivol needs to log out. There he goes, forcing away the Skulk. No map packs for the moment, the aliens can use this moment in Crossroads, but there's also an armory helping out Mendas and Valkyrie. Oh man, Mandas does go down, Valk goes down, great cleanup there by Arkea, pushing them out of crossroads. What are their options now uh, for Godar? I mean, Atrium and Sub-Access. Um, I think Arkea wants to drop a hive in crossroads. I yeah, did definitely. drop two cracks there, and this is completely unusual because it's really fast to get there. This hive is not easy to defend at all. Um, that's why I usually see sub or atrium drop, or preferably atrium. I think in this spawning location, sub is also not bad at all. Um, but also, I think they're trying to mind trick, um, a little bit mind playing here versus the opponent. But here we go, the scan by Kaivol, and he sees those cracks in crossroads. I think the plan from Scrime is real. Seeing Heracles and Valk moving into crossroads right now. Ray, Fana, and Scram are responding to this threat as Heracles and Valk shooting down the hallway. Valk gets spiked down. Heracles is the only one left. He is going down very slowly. Here comes the rest of Arkea, and he gets cleaned up. Meanwhile, down in sub access, we got Mendas moving in there, rebuilding that RT. Um, and over in Crevice, we got Alcalde up against Skugan and Fana. Going to make short work of him as they continue to push through into Atrium. Uh, looks like Akira is gaining more and more map control. If we open the minimap right now, I see Crossroads just been taken, Atrium going down, Reactor Core is under heavy attack. And even though Gota had a good amount of RTs throughout the game, and I mean, you see Weapon 2 is on the way, Face Tech just finished. Um, if they don't act versus Arkea, they will be find themselves in really deep trouble as soon as the fates come out. But this is still a good timing right now. We see shotguns and LG now working on Computer Lab. Not too many aliens here to defend it. Tumor is also in Atrium, and I think the face gate positioning will be really deciding for them how they will continue this match. Yeah, we're seeing the pressure team for Godar, Duty, and Mendasp in Computer Lab. That is going down. They did take out that Harvester. Um, one of them did have a shotgun and dropped that. And the Hive in Crossroad, 38% grown with linked up with a Gorge Tunnel. That's going to help them defend that pretty easily. Skugan over in Reactor Core biting down this RT, 35%. Valk coming in, trying to slap him off of there. And Skugan trying to climb on the ceilings to get out of the way of those bullets. And here comes the Reservoir KRA and Tane. Valk is backing up. He's like, let me out of here. And he is going to go down. Uh, it's action all around the map. Um, Goda's losing a lot of RTs right now. I mean, if I look on the stats in a second after we see who's winning there. Cordy will take a double kill ventilation, really nice. Um, talk about the RTs, you see nine, nine half extractors lost uh, before even the 9-minute mark. So Arkea is doing really a damn good job here on rest fighting. Yeah, definitely keeping them starved. And, and the thing is too, is obviously the time involved in coming back and rebuilding all these um, isn't giving Godar a chance to kind of advance more on the map or even apply um, more pressure or more pressure teams around the map because they keep having to come back and def defend, keep having to waste that time. So they're going to need to get an offensive together. Otherwise, slowly but surely, as we're seeing with this map, Arkea is just encroaching more and more into Godar territory. First phase get now dropped in sub. Um, the both Marines are not. Hey, yeah, there we go. Valk now falling back together, um, building <laughs> it up. Assist. They need to. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing that. Oh, I love that. I think I think that wasn't intentional. I think that they don't. Oh, I see. There's a drifter. Never mind. They know. They know what's coming up. But they should really build one of those phase gates since they research it, not putting any use out out of that yet. Um, looks like Hevel is still thinking about what he wants to do. 
There is, yeah, Archaea, I mean, you open the map and there's red blinking everywhere. I mean, <laughs> Archaea is all over this map, just applying pressure left, right, and center, and Godar is really trying to respond to these threats, uh, and, and while they're doing it, um, you know, it's giving, it's buying Scram a lot of time to expand somewhere on the map, gain, and also the rest of the team to gain more resources. Um, we do see that Blink is almost done. Tane has 50 res to go fade. Uh, I don't see anyone else close, I mean, other than uh, Kuruyo at 32. No, that went double Lurk and two Gorgeous. Um, even the, go the commander was not gorging, so that's two fades less plus the two Lurks, and they will have yeah. only one fade. Only one fade. So. Even with that amount of map control in the second hive up, they still lack this amount of higher life on. Skoda is still pretty good in shape, I think. They're losing a lot of RTs, yes, but they do have their weapon too, and it's just one fate coming up. Yeah, and you know, weapons to shotguns uh, can be <laughs> very, very deadly to a pinched fade. Oh, Heracles, Travis, can you get the armor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close! 15% on that health. <laughs> Phase gate now, linking up data core uh, and sub access. Ah, uh, we actually have a fade egg, yeah, I completely forgot. And um, they're using all the tourists, of course, for the fade eggs. Just having those three or four harvesters constantly, they only lost two in the whole game. They were up to four for a short amount of time. So, just they need just make sure to not lose those harvests and they can use t res for the fades, as long as they don't lose the life forms. They will be in a pretty good shape. Yeah, I mean, Tane and Karu as fades on the field, I mean, with Blink. Um, up against armor, one marines uh, is very dangerous. Over in flight control, we're seeing Valk and Alcalde coming in there, applying some pressure to the main hive. There goes the carapace shell, and Ray and Correo really trying to push them out of there. Correo uh, taking down Alcalde. Valk is the only one left, and Correo really trying to get him down. Finally, get him down. <laughs> I was really close with the Lord Ray. He just jumped in the hive the last second before he died. Um, nice move there by Scribe locking out, giving the place for the Lurk to jump in and save it. And now we see bigger push here at some axis. We now already have, well, still a two fades and a Lurks there available. Akira is gaining more and more map control here. Yeah, I mean, look at, if you hit open your map, look at this. <laughs> Godar is slowly, slowly, slowly losing map control. We're seeing that they just killed the Harvester up in Atrium, Heracles and Mendas, and they just put up a phase gate, which is going to help them a little bit. However, three Marines now coming through ventilation, building up that RT. They're going to build that up and move back into and try to claim sub-access. That's what I believe they're going to do anyways. But I don't think yeah, RK is going to allow that. <laughs> <laughs> they will try their best to prevent that happening. Uh, I think Goda really needs to get sub over, because they, they have to prevent the third hive from growing later in the game. Still they have some time to do some crazy moves because I think I wouldn't drop a hive right now. What they're doing right now is get more and more of those harvesters already five. I mean the number five is on the way and if they can keep this income up, that's gonna be really tough to stop this life forms coming up all over. Even if you lose your fates then it doesn't really matter too much because again replenish them really fast. Yeah and over um, up in Atrium we're seeing that Kuru, Tane and Fana completely annihilating that phase gate there and that Godar foothold that they had established just a bit ago. Sis chain has been cut in sub access duty. Alcalde and Vok moving into computer lab with those shotguns, trying to do a little bit of damage, get Archaea on the defense. Uh, but over in Reactor Core, we're seeing Kareo and Tane again just wrecking Godar's buildings. Putting yeah, up the power in computer lab. I mean, this looks like they're going to put a phase gate, gate here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. You want to have a little bit more offensive phase gate. It will hold up with that and can apply more pressure. This is definitely a smart one. The problem is, will the aliens now react? There's only two lurks in here and they cannot engage too close versus those shotgunners. Look at that. Fana already taking some heavy hits. He has to play really careful oh my God. until those fates are coming oh in. Oh my God. going to be it. <laughs> Oh jeez, I see orange everywhere. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, if we look at the player score, so many dead marines and <laughs> go dark goes down again. in a blaze oh, yeah, of the orange. <laughs> oh, very nice, fifty percent on that phase gate. They are phasing through. That surprised the heck out of me, blind. I was counting <laughs> that out. Good job, Godar. Yeah, I don't know still... if they pushed him off, or 
you know, or they they just gave up. No, they just they just got in, phasing in with the next spawn wave. That also one more incoming from sub. Plus the fates were already way too low. They didn't want to take a risk, go back and heal. I mean, we still didn't see a single life bomb die in 15 minutes in the game, and it's just showing showcasing oh! how good those plays are. Lurk just got ni annihilated in reactor core. Mendas taking down Fana. Oh, talking about the life bombs not dying. There we go. Fana there you is go. Down. Right when you <laughs> said, maybe you should say it again, and a fade will go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a curse, we had it before, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'll call in Vok, working in computer lab, um, trying to establish some sort of map control here. Meanwhile, in the main base, we're seeing Tane blink in and out. Heracles hot on his heels over in sub to Skugan taking down the RT there. Um, complete map control, uh, I mean, I, not complete, but most map control going to Arkea, and they're using that to their advantage. Goda are really trying to establish some sort of offensive at this point. Yeah, it's it's really hard for them right now because it, it they can't really push out um, seriously enough to Atrium because it will just otherwise lose um, the face gate in sub again or in computer lab in an instant. If they send out three Marines, it's going to be really tough. The aliens, they can easily just all go there. Oh, oh! wow, nice shot by Mentas! Sorry, I was just oh, looking look there. Wow! <laughs> Fade down. Uh, and we're seeing Tane came back there and got revenge. <laughs> yeah, like definitely Mendes worth out. it. The shocker was definitely worth it. He took down the Harvester and the Fade. Nice. That's a good day in the office. Alcalde and Vok now moving from Computer Lab into Flight Control, meeting a Drifter along the way, gunning that down very quickly, and take focusing fire on that harvester. Meanwhile, Skugan is coming in there. He's got to watch out. Oh, two shotgun as here we go. The face taking lots of damage here, but they're playing really smart, not dying there, healing up. They cannot defend the harvester from going down. It's a nice shooting by Arcade and Volk, but will they get out alive? I don't think so. Oh, and they are done. We're seeing ventilation tain on that uh, RT. We're seeing Mendas move back into reactor core. He's really determined to make sure reactor core is his. <laughs> well, they need to put up pressure there, and they have to watch out not to trade too many shotguns. I mean, those two shotguns lost in flight control is hurting the Marines. They, they cannot afford too many. They're sitting on three or four extractors on average right now. That, that doesn't mean they have a good rest flow. I, that, that, so they have to watch out for keeping those guns alive in the field. And right now we have four aliens in computer lab on the face gate, um, grinding it. Four fades, um, a lurk and a gorge on the map right now. That's what Archaea is fielding. And they're sitting yep. on, uh, wow, they just lost a lot of harvesters actually. Yep, 11 harvesters killed right now. So I think five minutes ago it was just two. And go to really starting over with this really amazing pressure. The problem right now, before that, it was just one or two fades. Uh, it was actually two fades, and, and now it's four fades. So this is gonna be really, really um, hard to get more done in here. Mendas again fighting against Lurk and a fade alone in Atrium. The Mad Packs are keeping him alive. He's actually pushing life ops out with low health. The best he can do there, he cannot expect uh -oh. to take him down. Oh! Oh, so close, 19% on Tane. Mendas just needs to land a nice shot on him, but Tane is not going to engage him quite wisely. He just gets out of there. But Mendas holding his own as king of the hill, basically, in Atrium. <laughs> oh, base rush at the same time. They see the Marines are in complex, so just go for the base. The base gate is up. All the Marines can face back in, but it was still worth it. They killed the Ops, which means uh, they just killed basically 15 team rests. And the problem for the Marines is for Goder. Look at that, they're still sitting at weapon 2, armor 1, because they had absolutely no resources to go upgrade more. They couldn't get an, an you know, a CC, Proto, Advanced Armory, Armor 2, all the goodies you want to have at the 19 minute mark, but they cannot afford yeah. it because they need to get all into map packs at this point. In terms of team res, we got Ray as a lurk sitting at 63 res, could be saving for an Onos. Little base rush here, taking down Mendas, Pericles, Alcalde, Abol, the Commander, and Bok, all trying to push these guys out, and they do. On a oh, Gorge down, Scram is Drive down. Is down. In computer lab. 
He's trying to bile bomb it. There we go. There's an armory and a forward base. We're seeing Skugan, Kuruyo, and Tain in ventilation. 46% on this RT. Yeah, massing those RTs with fades. Going as a group is going to be really powerful. With Thanos dancing around two shotguns there. The last hallway. Uh, I mean, that's the best that fades can do right now. They don't need to play over aggressively and just rush the base and lose all the life forms. The best they can do is group on those RTs, keep them down, and just keep going to Brissy the whole time over recapping. Because if they're split alone, one or two Marines max recapping, or maybe like right now, Mendo's trying to get Reactor Core again, they're easy targets for fades to kill. Unless, I mean, if, if it's a bigger group, three Marines, you cannot easily rush in there. That's too dangerous as a fade to go in. So actually hitting those RTs makes sure those Marines are split and easy kills. Yeah, and Mendas duty and Alcalde coming into computer oh. lab. That was amazing shooting by Heracles in ventilation. He's so Lord of Fate Tain with his LMG and pistol. Very nice. Oh flight control. Yep, moving into flight control. We got three Marines in here. They are just shooting up the joint. There goes the crags. That hive is at 71%. Where is Archaea? In the base, Marine base, try to counter rush. Only one fate and one lurk left. Commander is still in the cheer, and the hive is getting really low. Oh my god, Goder. Oh, oh my gosh, they do push him out of there. And flight control is down. Holy, how are you believing what we're seeing there? Good job, Godar, for taking down flight control and pushing down a counter push in their main base. Hive drops right again, real fast. Now they had to move out because Atrium was on the way, it's already 60% grown. But I, I would never have thought that they're actually able to defend the base and push for flight control. I, I'm not sure what Arkir did there, I saw four aliens pushing to towards data core. But two fates were already heading out while one fate and one dork's dead. And another fate going oh, down! Oh! Gugan! Two Skugan shotgun goes down! Oh. But the time counter is ticking. Uh, Look what we have in flight. Yeah, we have Ray as an Onos. And looks like they are going to move to that computer lab um, base. Oh, there we go. Alcadia is the first to see the Onos. And that face gate is toast. Yeah, I mean, Godar knew that, I mean, 22 minutes into this match, I mean, they're, they're gonna see an Ono soon. Yeah. Look at that, but right I think away. They will, they will keep fighting. I mean, they're doing that the whole time. Usually, if you see this kind of map um, control by aliens, and, and also a, a top team like Arkea holding this portion of the map, Usually would think like it's absolutely no chance to come back in the game, but Golda keeps on fighting, keeps on defending, keeps killing all those life bombs. Now we see push up to Adrian coming in there trying their best to get his hive done, but it already finished. Still no third hive up. They cannot drop an almost like going in Atrium. <laughs> right in the corner. And here comes a base rush to Godar. Oh, those face taking lots of damage. Really good timing on the face gate. Very nice. They're, I mean, they're just going back and forth. Here comes Ray. Oh, he's taking too much damage. Yeah, All the Marines yeah. are going down. It's way too much. This may be the GG. Yeah, it kind of should be. There it there is. There we go. Wow. What an opening. 23 <laughs> minutes and 40 ish seconds. Wow. Did you count how many fates we still saw die there? A billion. <laughs> A billion. <laughs> A billion Archaea fates going down. A billion in like five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but boy, what a start.